How many years have you been coming to the Pines? Seven years. Why do you keep coming back? Why? Was I tried other places, a different convenient as this? It has everything that I want. Uh, my husband and I and the children, everybody has a good time. We like the people here. We like their accommodations. And we like the outdoor activities. Uh, I like the idea that they have a new and fresh program every time I come here. It's never the same thing. Always something new and different. The Pines is a resort hotel nestled deep in the heart of the Catskill Mountains of New York State. The Pines is a truly fabulous hotel where every facility that should be part of a vacation is within walking distance of your room. And the food, the food is marvelous. Yes, eating at the Pines is a palate-pleasing experience. Many people come here just to savor the food three times a day. That's right, most people come up here to eat that seems to be the main activity here at the Pines Hotel. People eat usually a minimum of two mains per person per meal. Good eating, good eating. Our chef has been with us a uh, good many years. He is schooled, he knows what he's doing. He's proficient in uh, all types of ethnic dishes and he's just playing good. How much food is consumed here year round? <laughs> Enough to feed maybe two armies. <laughs> and maybe more, and maybe more. There are plenty of ways to work off the sumptuous meals. You can feast on golf, tennis, swimming, even roller skating, and bocce. And if the weather's not quite up to par, take your act indoors. You're as good as Mark Spitz, better than John McEnroe. In addition, well, Hank Leeds, the doctor of fun, plans a full day of activities seven days a week. I'm gonna tell you something, Bob. Do you know who my best the, my best source of information is the guests. You see, we listen to them here at the Pines Hotel. Every day they get a dance class. Every day. They get a gymnastics and yoga class every single day. We have aqua exercise for them. And, of course, we have Morris Spellman, our naturalist, who takes the people out on nature walks, and he's a certified naturalist. He's not just a person who takes them for nature walks. He gives them the, the details of everything about the nature of, the, of trees, of flowers, of plants, and um, we have uh, sing-alongs, we have lectures. Every single day there's a lecture. You never know what to expect with Hank Leeds. Witness this beautiful legs contest. When the sun goes down, the fun's still up at the pines. There's dancing every night. And on most nights, a gala Broadway-style show featuring the funniest comedians and most talented singers in the world. Perhaps the biggest plus of the Pines is the fact that parents can spend some much-wanted time alone. Thanks to the Pines Day Camp, children, preteens, and teens have activities planned for them by well-trained counselors. Best of all, child service for infants is free. Yes, summer is never a bummer at the Pines. And when the temperatures go down, the lifts go up. Skiing highlights a winter wonderland of activities at the Pines. How much money would you say that you put into this hotel each year? Each year we put in, I would say, at least a half a million dollars a year. We're constantly upgrading, changing, uh, making better the facilities in the hotel to make uh, the customers more satisfied. And this goes back to my grandparents. Uh, in the 1940s, they started with a small uh, little business and they've, they've made it into a large year-round resort hotel. A resort hotel that continues to be the best and most sensible entertainment value around. Hey everyone, Mike from Good Day for DK. Today we're here with Rhonda and Lori. Hello. Little menage a trois here. <laughs> <laughs> of the, oh, we are... Uh, we're gonna explore an abandoned resort. I know this place is pretty run down, so uh, let's uh, get over there and check this place out. All right, as I said, we were here at a resort. You can see the uh, that upper floor is uh, down about two, two stories now. It's uh, totally caved in. But uh, Rhonda will give you a little brief history about this place. So the Pines Resort was built in 1933 with 400 rooms, an ice skating rink, indoor and outdoor pool, a theater nightclub, and poker rooms on 96 acres. In 1998, it was forced to close due to financial problems. 
22 years now, this has been closed. I've seen a few videos of this place. It's in, as you can see, it's uh, in rough shape. But we are here up in the area and we had to uh, come check it out. That's what we do. <clears throat> you can see the, the upper floor just came all the way down this. It's, it's actually, it's probably on the first floor because you could see. Here's the, the one, you know, it's hard to tell, but there's the one window. You can see all the way right up. So this part we won't be getting into. That's crazy. Yeah, this one, uh, this one you are not getting into. Every floor is, every floor is down. Basically it's just a shell right now. luggage rack when you uh, when you come into the room you put your luggage on there while you you pack it into your uh, <coughs> your dresser <laughs> Wow I almost walked by this the old cigarette machine. Definitely don't see these around anymore. No, actually saw about four of them at the, the scrapyard, the one day I was there, someone just was scrapping them. This is old, it doesn't, like, doesn't even have the, uh, the dollar bill exchanger on it. This is super old. Looks like an N on it, that's all I could see. And there's the, oh, pickers. Here's the front of the building. So, yeah. Let's pick a direction and uh, let's see where we're gonna go. Your random phone. Yes, kids, this is called the rotary phone. That doesn't work. This is how you use it. And kids these days don't know how to use a rotary phone. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's creepy. Right next to a pooper. Old chair. Oh, it's a little bit of pooper. You're so cute. Wow. <laughs> Forty nine persons. It's hard to believe this was actually like a like a banquet room or something. It's so dark and you know I was gonna say what is this and then yeah, until you said that I was like oh it is a table. Jeez.
Floor is uh, the upper floor is not looking too pretty. Yeah, we're into this was like this was like a little kids' or daycare or something, yeah. That they had because there's a still still a little remnants of uh, blankets and toys. There's some toys here. Toys, you know what that means? No, why would you say something silly like that? It means there was kids here. Come on. A little, a little beads. Is that like a creepy? You can get a couple pictures and Keep moving on. Old VHS tapes there. An old school bus. All right. One floor is really squishy over there. Okay. Oh, well, here's another. Uh... Yeah, you're in. Did you see the cigarette one outside? When you, when we, uh, oh maybe I'm, I, it's, it might be down, it's down a little further. There's an old cigarette machine out there. Wow. I'll show you the uh, second floor. There's the second floor. Look at that table over there. That's crazy. Pieces are just peeling up and warped. Ugh. You can see the chairs up on the second floor there. And these chairs were also on second floor, but now they're on the basement floor. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Throw a little more light. Let's see if I can get up there a little more. That chair is just dangling, ready to fall. Join the rest down here. It's not a party unless you're getting laid. Second floor again, right over Lori's head. Wow. As I'm blinding her. Yeah, what else is new? Look at that damn light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's just gonna come down anytime now. There's an old coffee pot over there. I am not walking over there. There's some sternos on the shelf. Oh, 
not much more to see down here. I don't know if it goes anywhere else. Well, there's a doorway there. We'll see where this goes. Oh, look at that paint. You know I love my I love me paint. There's metal stuff. So let me just take a peek up there. I don't know. That second floor is uh, it's pretty rough. It's only a wooden floor. Being abandoned 22 years, it's uh, yeah, well, seen better days. Let me tell you. Like, look at these doors. They're just like nothing floor. left, <laughs> separating. Furnace made me in there. Looks like some air ducts. Hurry, 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 step out. Yeah, why does the elevator have a knob? Because it's old. It's right there. So it has a knob. You ever see an elevator? Ooh, here ever, ever see an elevator with a knob before? I never did. It's locked. You go first. Wait. Front desk. Ascot Hall. Well, the hall that was the hall we were just in, the Ascot Hall. Look at that. Look at this sheet. It's like drywall. It was coming out of a whole sheet. It looks like a freaking blanket. It does. And it's just color after color. This phone works. Don't go back. This one? It's supposed to go chick 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 Not quite though. You like the sound effects? I love those sound effects. They're so bright. Ah, nice bar stool in there. Group sales. Could this be the lobby? Oh yes, this is the lobby. Nice. It's a nice old bottle. A lemon up. Hmm. That's really flavored. Oh, this is the lobby of it. <laughs> the chairs are still sitting over here too. It's like frozen in time. Staircase. Mm -hmm. 
I heard that one. I was like, uh-oh. My dad was like, what was that? Oh, this one. I heard that. Uh, you want a balloon? Oh, balloons. Whole bag of them. Yep. Go. Smoke grenade. you would definitely have to stay on the beams. Mm-hmm. And even that. Nope. Yeah. That's crazy. And some big assholes. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, we won't be, uh, no. we won't be walking on this. That sucks though, too, because I'd love to see that desk. to check out but unfortunately as you guys can see here I don't know where the glass is from was it maybe in here all the windows are gone they're boarded oh okay some of the boards on them at some point but yeah we won't be walking on this unfortunately with all the the damage done it's just not safe someone was over there in 2020 yeah, they probably, like I said, they probably walked on the boards and mm -hmm. took their chance of getting over there. I mean, you could, it's around the other side, you can see the 2020. But that's not me. I don't feel mm -hmm. like being in the uh, first floor. I could walk down the stairs and be on the yeah, first floor. <laughs> and be in one piece. Looks like that's going upstairs over there. Looks like a set of steps. Oh, yeah. Another way up right there. <laughs> These steps are safe, huh? They're uh, like a stone or something. I don't know what that one is. There's another way up. We're just gonna. Another way up. It keeps going and going. We're not gonna walk on these floors, that's for sure. Okay, that's where we just were, over here. Yeah, there's cabinets over there. Peter Pan was here. Hmm. Did you know that? I did know. Huh. And so was Kelly and Alex. Cool. And Margaret. It's always a good day for decay. With? Rhonda. Lori. That's right. <laughs> First floor. Like some male slots. Oh, slots, I said, slots. <laughs> I don't know, do I chance it? At the moment, it feels okay. Uh, let me know if the moment changes, okay? Okay. 
did you see the side of this elevator? The side? No. The paint explosion over here. I think the ground is concrete. You think? I hope so. It, it sounded pretty solid. I really hope it's concrete because I'm a little bit nervous. They're pretty, uh, the rooms are pretty trashed. Every room is there. I'll take a peek in one just to show you. And pray I'm not, don't fall downstairs. Hopefully this part is concrete. Pretty, uh, pretty basic room, very small. Love the uh, 70s subway tiles, the bathroom, the yellow throne. Shine your light on it. What's up? Shine your light on it. Let's bring this on. Uh, I saw something. Oh, all the wires gone. Imagine that. And more worse than others. Ah, it works. Kind of. Operator. <laughs> I want the operator. I can get the operator. All right, there you go. Cool. It even has the uh, the name on it, the pines. Who's calling? Do you remember when you would hang it up too hard when you hear that? Yeah, you slam it down. Hi. See, She's always making noise. Okay, this may be concrete that we're walking on because there's the next floor up above yeah. and they have uh, like a galvanized and I think that they put galvanized down first and put the concrete on on top. So to the main lobby and the elevator. That's where we just came from. Um, I don't know, let me venture on down here a little bit. Let me see what this looks like. Ooh. There's a little drop. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't know if that's wood or not, but I'm not. A, I don't know what you it might be because it's wood up above. So you know, what? I'm not gonna walk on nope. that. I just like stepped down. It was stepping down like a couple inches. Stepped down. So. Yeah, no, you're better off. I'm gonna turn, and we're gonna use this staircase here. Let's see where this goes. And why not? Let's go up. I can smell the mildew through the mask. So look at that building over there. It's got a compressor or something on the roof and it's covered in a tarp. Huh. Let me zoom in. Is that a cat? A, there's a bird. Oh, a bird. Oh, that's a, it's a bird right there at the edge. Pigeon or something. But yeah, it's right, this place is really close to uh, a bunch of houses. Oh, that's probably black mold. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
to hold it for a second. I'm gonna bring that down. Boo. This scare you? <laughs> yeah. My TV guy go, we got TP. Cool. I don't know if that was paintballs. I think it was paintballs. This one works. So we can call you. Uh... <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there's uh, not much here. Hello? Say the pine right on them. Huh? Luke, I am your father. Show people's names. Nineteen ninety one, the accident. Room seven oh five. Hmm. You see. If you guys just uh, watched my video of Camp LaGuardia, you will see shrug written in a lot of places. And pictures like that. He does uh, just cool uh, graffiti <laughs> art. Looks like he pretty much, he or she, had uh, most of the areas up in New York that we've had. Sorry. not the elevator I want to take. Yes, yeah, so I'm wearing a mask, so. Yeah, it's a long ways down. Take a picture while we're up here. And if you remember the uh, chairs I showed in the beginning, those chairs were right there. I'm ready to show in, when I was in the basement with the chairs that fell through. They're right there. So we will not be walking on this floor. This is a, a wooden floor.
not much to see here. The rooms, all the stuff looks the same. Where we were um, up here, there was uh, oh, the last walkway up here. It would have came over to here and then went across and goes over to this hotel. So they're all, you know, joined together. We'll see if we could find another way in over there. But the rooms are pretty much looking all the same. They're all just trashed. Not much to see. Not sure what this was in here. It could have been just something falling by itself, but, or with someone over there, we don't know. Right. Could have been just another explorer over here. That's pretty cool. That's an awesome uh, piece. This might have been, well, this is definitely, well, there's the pizza oven. Oh, and Lori's over there, as you could hear, as usual. <laughs> Wet floor. Here's your oven. And there's Shrug. Food and beverage. It's always amazing how you always find tons of paper just left in these places. It's like they close up shop and they walk away and they just leave everything. People's names. Vice President of Sales. Grocery, what they're gonna order. Seafood. Requisition forms. Oh, when was the last time you saw these? Marlboro Miles. Holy shit. Five miles. Blast from the past. Yeah, it is. I used to always get stuff at Marlboro Miles. Which is amazing because you didn't smoke. Right, never smoked a day in my life. And I'm telling you, I got so much stuff with that. It was, wasn't even funny. Okay, let's keep venturing on. Look at the uh, moss-covered bricks with ferns. Also, we have the sushi. Oh, it's big. Oh, no, no, no. Good, perfect. Look at this. is pretty cool. That's where we just came in. Oh my God, look at what they did. There's a chair up there and there's a table up there. Who the hell can get a table up there? That is ridiculous. Someone got a table up there. Let alone, let alone throwing a chair up there. They, how the hell did they get a table up there? That's nuts. Like a chair is hard enough to get that high. We haven't seen a penis picture yet. We got two for, we got a penis and a penis. Where? This one? Tell me you don't see it. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Because I'm looking at the words. Uh-huh. Yeah, the words. Yep. Okay, there it is. As I'm looking at the words, not the penis. <laughs> oh well, look at look at this wall of chairs. Oh, here it is. I've seen this in many pictures. Oh my God. Um, we will not be going in here. This is this is the, where we first uh, 
walked in and the chairs are in the basement. Let me see if I... But look at, look at everything going down. That's crazy. Chairs are on all walls. Yeah, the chairs are stuck. I am not walking over there. That's pretty cool though. Look at that one. All the way at the top, it's just upside down hanging there. It's like, it's us hovering. Chairs over on that wall too. But yeah, I think not here, but all the way in the back, back there, that's where the, uh, the jars were in the basement. And before I was actually over in that opening right there, peeking in. When you don't feel comfortable doing something, it's simple. Don't do it. If it doesn't look safe, don't do it. Oh, look at the frog. Bloop, bloop. Here he comes. Watch your foot. Where do you see a frog? He just, he's underneath this right there. He is. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. He's like, take me home. Where'd he go? I don't want to step on him. I think he went under the thing again. There he is. Hi, Oh, look at his little head. I got this one. Pick him up, Mike. He's like, get me out of here. All right. Do we dare walk on that or go around? Go around. Okay. You wearing your, you wearing good shoes today? Steel toe, baby. Okay. <laughs> I don't want people complaining you're not I wearing know. your, your proper attire. That's why I didn't want to step on the frog. Check out that window. There's a basement. Shall we go down? Yeah. Let's do it. Where we're gonna get. Oh, there's asbestos. There's more asbestos. Let me throw my mask on real quick. Just watch, there's a couple things of asbestos here. I'm not going. I'm just gonna take a peek, see what's going on. And throw my mask on. Very, very wet. Oh, it wasn't. There's no elevator. There's the shaft. Looked like there was water. Some wraps. Very, very wet. Yeah, there's some asbestos there, but I have a mask on, so. Bathroom. It's all asbestos. There's another, another pizza oven. This is weird, it's like a two level.
another frag. Ooh, that's enough shape. I'm not going that way. Some old coolers. That's a really old cooler. It's got a wooden door. And the ceiling fell here, so I'm not going out that way. I'll go back up. I'll catch up with them guys. Let's see where this goes. Bunch of plates. Let's see. It's very wet. Storage plates, cups. They're gonna stay. Prep this door open. Don't need to get locked in here. Another cups and plates. And that's why I propped the door open. Ugh. Another old cooler. It's crazy that they just leave this stuff. All the glasses over here. Spider webs, yuck. The old soda bottles over there. That's like that soda bottle they found upstairs, lemon up. They said, hopefully you guys can hear me. I have a mask on, so it might be a little, a little more tricky, but it's for my own protection. When I'm safe, I'll take the mask off so I can talk normal. All right, let me go catch back up with them. Okay, we just came up here. I'm not sure what the, I was looking on the map I have of this place. I can't really make sure it's. It, it kind of keeps going down by step by step by step. And then over here is the pool. We're gonna, we'll try to make our way down, see if we can get over there, down to the pool. It's kind of... Oh, shit. They would take and close off all the uh, the rooms here, make them little small rooms, or open them up, make big rooms. Would you think there was someone here? Not too much to see here, but it is. Uh, Did you see all the newer baby stuff? Newer baby stuff, okay. yeah.
<laughs> Hannah Montana. It's like, was someone living here? Definitely a girl. There's a pool back there, one of those little pools. Look at the sconces on the wall. Getting swallowed up by the, uh, the paper. Yeah, I mean, because there's like, there's a small mattress here. So I wonder if there was someone here with a kid living at one point. Goggles. Or was this just stuff left behind? It's a pretty cool uh, graffiti art there. Okay, a couple cribs. Or pack and plays. <laughs> Big hole in the roof there. No, supposedly back here was. It was supposed to be the ice skating rink. If I could. Oh, yeah. Was this the ice skating rink back here, supposedly? Did I read that correct? Oh, yeah. Something behind the, I thought it was behind the conference center. I could be wrong though. But these buildings are so bad. Indoor ice rink. Oh, indoor ice rink. Yeah. Behind the conference? Yep. So maybe it was, maybe it was all in this right here. This is definitely outdoors. So that was indoor at one time over there. It looks like. So I bet you this would have been the ice skating rink indoor. That build, this building that's here is now gone. Because you could see there was a building here. You could see the awnings that were pieces over there. Now this one, door is open. But look at the top of it. <laughs> you can see the door open up there. There's a dresser up on that one floor. I see a shelf up there. Let me see. Let me see if you can see that. There's a dresser right there, just hanging there, not by much. It's crazy. Like it's totally, totally gone. No ceiling. I'm gonna just peek my head in here. Gotta watch the nails. Wow. Holes in the floor. Old suitcase. And I see a window there. Fresh brewed coffee, tea, hot chocolate, 75 cents. I wonder if this, that was for that. Nope, that is for your, I see the cupboards. Let me make my way over here. Let me just make sure the ground is okay, if it's concrete. Because uh, I see the, the little openings for uh, your skates. Give me one second. All right, this seems pretty safe. This seems like it's concrete. Up here, of course, it's only wood. And you saw what the upper floor looked like. Items for sale. This 
skate guards, figure skate. <laughs> Look at this chair. Look at this chair, this is amazing. Look at this suitcase, oh my god. <clears throat> That's the first thing I saw. I have nice ones, similar to those. Because these are where they would keep, keep all the skates. Not one pair of skates left in here. Surprise, surprise. I like the Neville where they left all the skates in the room. Schedule of events, 97, 98. And what we, we said this closed in 98, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is the last year. This has been on the wall for 22 years now. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I think, I think there they are. We, but they're sitting, so someone pulled them all out of there and threw them all over here. There's roller skates and there's ice kings, so they must have had both. That hurt. I just oh, look. Yeah, Fisher Price skates. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. That's flags. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tons of, they're just the skates are just thrown over here. Like you think they would be in the in the little cubbies. You want to go do that? You want to go put them in the cubby? No, I'm good. They're all yucky now. No. Yeah. There's so many. They just blend right in. I just thought it was uh, just the rubble here. All different colors: black, tan, white. Looks like a regular pair of shoes back there. One of these little kids, kids shoes, kids skates, I should say. Look how small they are, opposed to those where you got a very small foot. Staring right at them, and I didn't even see them until the last second. This has seen better days. Oh, oh yeah. It's like the, all the insulation and vegetation. They're good, huh? Squishy floor. Wow, look at that. The floor is just uh Yeah, very squishy. Oh yeah, you can see the big well we can see the big divot there. The corridor to nowhere. Must have connected to another building over there and Maybe it went down to, had something to do with the pool, because the pool is right over in that area. So it might have went over there, and dropped down, but right now it goes to nowhere. Elevator. So we'll make our way over to the pool. So yeah, this was, this was the indoor pool. I guess the building is gone now, except for that piece. But you could see all the uh, the steel pillars where it used to be. Next one? No, I'm like I'm good. The end door please is now an outdoor. Cool breeze. Yeah. Hey, 
Got one launch chair. This is the, what's left of the building. Not much. It was tiled. Very shallow. And then it just it looks like you get to right around where the water is and it just drops. I think Lori's gonna take a lounge out here. We have a nice breeze now, right? <laughs> Lounging by the outdoor, wait, indoor pool. I'm loving the indoor outdoor pool. <laughs> Nicole and Tootie. Oh God, can you imagine? And you know there's those couple assholes that have done it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, isn't our building back there? I don't know what that one was. There's, a, there's an old camper back there. Yeah, as, as you can see, right? Wow, that goes deep. It goes, it, it just stops right there and man, it just drops. That thing it looks pretty deep. All right, let's make our way over to the actual pool that everyone has seen before. Probably if you uh, looked at pictures of this place. All right, on our way over to the pool, there's this other building here. There's a couple, a couple more of these old chairs. These, I really like these for some reason. These are bigger than the other one that was in the, the skating rink area. These are like the adult version. You could probably still sit in that, that is solid. Yeah, the boards are, I mean, the boards are solid, they really are. Like that is guaranteed that would hold your weight. This is a little, well, it's twisted. It's supposed to be that way. The yeah, they twist the metal. But yeah, those, they're still. Like they are still. Except for the boards on the feet that rotted away. That's the only thing wrong with them. A nice, another paint job. More of them in there. Right, wow. Look at the roof on this thing is right there already. Won't be going too far. The roof fell in. This is why we always say, uh, don't come by yourself because uh, you just never can tell. Like a couple more of these chairs. One there. Is this cliff house? One there. Something was stored in here because there's different names. Steven's house, cliff house. Has, uh, has had it. There's more of those little white ones. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of small ones back there. It's amazing. Is that? There are bees in this little one, it says. Right there. Right. See where I am? See it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a hornet's nest. That's just like the one. 
You can see the white up there. You can see them flying in. Lori just got stung our last trip. We'll, uh, we'll get out of here. And there's Lori at the pool. Guessing she found an alternative way over there. Not the kind of swim I'd like to do. This water looks so gross. Oh, the froggy's house. Look at the layer of whatever on the top of it. It's like, it's like greasy or something. Yeah, like some sort of algae. There's more of those little, like greasy, little chairs and stuff down in that other oh, house down there. chairs that you like? Yeah, little ones and big ones. Are there any good ones in there? Better than what you have? I think they're all the same. Oh, they're all that same? Yeah, they're all about the same. They're all missing legs. Tables in there. Chase lounge. Something does. <laughs> What'd you do? Come up through the back side or? Really? I got a few pictures of this one here and, and check out the outdoor. Uh, I'm gonna see if that's uh, dressing rooms maybe. All right, so these turned out, we looked it up, these were the cabanas, which is really weird because some of them look like they actually have beds in here. I thought it was like a change room at first, but looking it up on uh, the little map, it shows these were cabanas. But it's like a bed and a, an old table that's the, only the base. It's really weird. Very uh, small so rooms. Funny, yeah, then that one over this has has a yeah. medicine cabinet over here. Is it? Yeah, I, I don't even get it. That's so weird. I, I don't understand how these are cabanas with beds and medicine cabinets and. I'm really surprised for 22 years though that uh, it's still. It's still standing for the most part. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. I mean, 22 years just sitting. I'm actually surprised it's not really worse. Like that first building you saw when we that came in. Now, let's see what this building is. Is there another building? Yeah, it's, there's another one back here. Did there's nothing there, though. Dochester? Dor Dorchester, I think it's called. Yeah, there's a ramp there. It says Dorchester or something on it. Yeah, that's about all. I'll give you our final thoughts and kind of like Jerry Springer. Some chair, some more chairs in there, loungers. <clears throat> some bees, some hornets. There must be a nest in there. I'm getting away from that door. Oh, was there a nest in there? I don't know. A hornet just flew out of there, so I'll just stay over here. But all right, let's wrap this up. Okay, guys, that was your look at the Pines Hotel. Pretty neat. 22 years abandoned. I'm surprised that the buildings are still standing. The first one when we came in, all the way in the beginning was you couldn't go in at all so um pool is really cool i like the roller skating or the ice skating stuff over in the uh, the basement of the one house so you know 
What do you guys think? Thoughts, opinions? I like the chairs in the wall. Chairs in the wall? That was pretty yeah. awesome. And I like the graffiti in the kitchen. Yeah. That was cool. Was that a kitchen? That was cool. I, that was I the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> but, so, I'm loving the arch over the pool. That's just an accident waiting to happen though. Yeah, if you can imagine if they did something like that these days, you'd have lawsuits like crazy. It is cool though. It is. I mean, I do have a few shots. They have, there's a, a few old postcards of that pool with people sitting on it. And uh, I will put them in, picture, in my pictures at the end. So definitely uh, stick around for the uh, picture slideshow at the end. And uh, like always, don't forget to subscribe, comment. And what else am I forgetting? Just comment again. Oh, comment again, and again, and again. Because again, again. Again. for some reason, I just keep saying, you know. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Hit the button. Hit the button. Smash, Smash it. it. Smash it. <laughs> All right, guys. We got one more place to go, or two, or three, or whatever we got up here. Who knows? Who knows what we'll find? You know, Google Kink. We'll find something. Oh my God. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next adventure.